it's the end of Fer Hello! It's the end of February, which means it's time to share my February favourites. When I was gathering all of my favourites from this month, I have realised the majority of them are either beauty related or fashion related, which is pretty cool, I suppose. So I'm going to start off with one that doesn't quite fit either of those, but I have been using it pretty much every day since I bought it, and that is my Union Jack mug. Oh. If you have watched some of my videos and or have read my blog or have seen my boards on Pinterest, you would know that I am absolutely crazy about Britain. One of my biggest goals and dreams in life is to go and visit London and Britain and so I saw this and I loved it and I've been drinking my English breakfast and Earl Grey tea out of this for the last couple of weeks and I love it. The next favourite that I have up this month is a bag that I've bought for uni and this is no ordinary bag, it is a Kath Kidson saddle bag. Wow! Yeah! For those out there who may not know, I am one of the biggest Kat Kitson fans out there. I have so many of her products, majority of them are bags. My everyday handbag is a Kat Kitson bag. There it is. So like I've said, this is my new bag for uni. I start back at uni in the next week and a bit. And I wanted a bag that um, just went over my shoulder so it was a lot easier when I got on and off train so I don't have this big fat heavy backpack banging into everyone. This particular bag has really cool magnet clasps at the front and it's got pockets galore. So it's got a little pocket in there that I can put my iPad and notebook and other things in there. Pencils, pencil case, a wallet, phone and anything else that I really need to take for the day. And it's got an awesome strap that I can make any size that I want and it's spots. I love spots. So I am looking, really looking forward to using that. Although it's still summer here in Australia, it's starting to get a little bit cool at night. I am looking to the future and the next robe that I bought is a lovely knit jumper that I got from ASOS. It is this really cool jumper. Ooh. It's got like oversized sort of knit roses on them and um, I just thought it was very me and um, it's beautiful and soft and I know that I will love wearing this every single day during winter. Like I said I got it on ASOS and it was really cheap, I think it was like $18. It was free shipping and it, I mean it's just bargain all around, I mean I would have to be one of the most cheapest people in the world and this was the cheapest jumper I think I've ever bought in the world. No, not really. But yeah, I think it's awesome. Yay! Next up, I will be moving into some of my beauty favourites of the month. In my last favourites video, that was January favourites, I showed you the contents of my Bella box. And one of the products in there was this. This is the Avene Hydrance Optimal Rich hydrating cream. It's a face cream. The little sample that I got from Bella Box, I used it all up because I absolutely loved it. It was so lovely to use. It goes on really, really easily. Um, it absorbs really fast and it leaves your face feeling so soft. I mean, even the next day, my face just feels so clean and brand new and soft and supple and really really awesome. I did my research and I bought this at the most cheapest price that I could find which was $38 when it usually retails for $55 and I was okay paying that because you don't really use very much at one time. I'm gonna have this forever um, I tell you it's only a little tiny bottle but you use less than the size of a five cent piece coin to moisturize your face. This particular cream comes in a light and a rich I chose the rich because I know that I will need this as um, the months get colder because my, my face gets really really dry so this will really really help during winter so I'm really happy about this favourite 
The next favourite up this month is a little one, but it's a good one and it's a big favourite of mine, obviously. It is the Maybelline Baby Lips colour in Rose Addict. I'm a big fan of lip glosses and I particularly like the ones that have a little bit of colour in them um, just for, you know, why not? I like that it's, it's long lasting, it doesn't have a weird sort of well, taste and um, you know, I have it on at the moment and you can sort of tell that you have something on your lips so I really liked that and uh, I've been wearing it pretty much every day since I bought it so I'm very, very happy with that and I had to share it with you. This last favourite I have actually had for a while. I am a huge perfume addict. That's possibly one of my biggest indulgences that I love to indulge in. Even though I've just told you that I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I have had this perfume um, for a while and I, I sort of had this big sort of obsession over it this month. And I've been wearing it every day because I just, I love it. And it is Miss Dior Cherry de Parfum. The first time I heard of this perfume, yeah, my parents bought it for me when they were on holiday. I thought it was so pretty. It's such a sophisticated, feminine um, type of scent. And I feel like a million bucks when I wear it. And it makes me feel all grown up and ladylike. This is the type of perfume that gives me confidence and just makes me feel really pretty. That's why I love it. This is one of only two perfumes that I've ever bought the second time. So what I mean is once you've used your first bottle, you actually actively go out and buy a second bottle because it was so good. The other perfume that I'm talking about is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. That's, that's actually my favorite perfume and this is my second. So this is actually my second bottle of this perfume because I love it so much. It also reminds me of my parents, so you know, that's always quite nice, isn't it? I have finished showing you all of my favourites for this month, but before I end this video, I want to end on an appreciation favourite, or something like that. I just wanted to express the appreciation that I have for my phone. I have had an iPhone for over three years and I had always had nightmares of dropping my phone and breaking it or shattering it or whatever. And last week that nightmare came true. I dropped my phone on the kitchen tiles and it totally shattered the screen and it was it was pretty horrible but I just wanted to take a moment to express my appreciation that I have for my phone. It's not until you're unable to actually use it you actually realize just how much you actually need it uh, which is quite weird. I think, hope you know what I'm talking about. You know, when my phone was getting repaired, when I took it to the Apple guys, they had it and they said, come back in an hour and it'll all be fixed for you. And because I don't have a watch uh, and I use my phone for the time, I had no idea when an hour was. And, you know, and it's just the fact, you know, you want to message someone or, or you know, check the time or call someone or set a reminder or anything like that and you can't do it because your phone is unable to be used or you don't have it with you. So yeah, I just wanted to, to put that out there and say just how much I love my phone and I appreciate you. Okay, so there are my February favourites. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, press that like button, subscribe to my channel to see more of my monthly favourites every month, as well as my crafting and quilting videos and other things that will happen in the future. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye! I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Hello! It's the end of February, which means it's time to share my January... No, it's not January. I don't know what to say. I had it in my head and I've lost it. Never mind, I'll come back. I'm just going to stop it. Hmm. I was just reading the bottom of it. It's made in Thailand. Hmm. How much I um, 